see what that will do. Now let's compare it to say, what will the pulse induction unit do, and how does it basically work? Same coil, okay? Same ground down here. Pieces of soil, mineralized, the whole deal, and one piece of gold. Okay, <laughs> the basic difference in this unit versus this unit is this. We send out a big pulse, hence pulse induction, <coughs> okay? So what happens is this, and I'll show you a block diagram if you will. Okay, this is just a battery, right? Very crude. This is, uh, we'll call this the control box. Okay? And this is a coil. So it's very simple. Very simple uh, process, very simple uh, workings. It's, it's the same thing in a VLF. We have a battery over here, we'll call it at six volts. It supplies this control box, that voltage, that voltage, all the magic is done and whatever, and then that voltage is sent down to this coil. That's essentially it. Battery, control box, coil, okay? Same thing with this as with the pulse induction. But here's the difference. We send this pulse to this coil. We only send it one time. Not 60,000 times, not 8,000 times, one time. Boom, okay? And then what happens is this. When, when we talk and we have a machine, I don't know if everybody here really understands ground balancing or what it really means. But I think most people make things too complicated. Ground balancing is just an absolute, I remember my first detector was a uh, Tesoro, I believe. <laughs> and the biggest problem I had was, how the hell do I ground balance it? I'm looking at what they say, and now I'm a, I'm a new guy, and I'm a rookie. I don't know, I'm trying it, you know, and it's making noises, and I'm thinking, well, it says here, if it's not ground balanced, I'm not gonna find gold. That's not true. I can take this machine, whether it's ground balanced or not, and you'll find gold. The difference is, if you ground balance, you'll find the smaller gold in worse areas. You can take this machine, pretty much do anything you want to do. Throw that nugget that Chris had down, I guarantee you this, by the way, and swing this, and you'll hear it. I don't care. Maybe the only exception is the salt mode, or cancel mode, or something like that. Other than that, you can do whatever you want, and you'll get that gold. That's the beauty types of machines. So back to the ground balancing. As I said, I had a Tesoro. Problem with that machine is, is how the hell do I ground balance it? What do I do? And I'm making more of it than it really is. Make things simple when you detect. Okay? Some of the best things that we do, we do from a simplistic way. Our mind generally works in a complicated way. It's our nature. Everybody, me, you, the whole deal. Okay? You need to step back and say, um, I, I don't want to make this so complicated. I want to make it as simple as I can. Then I'll work towards getting more complicated to get more gold as I go along. I don't know the experience of all of you. I'll just assume none of you have ever hit a piece of gold. So if you have, that's great. If you haven't, that's okay too. So ground balancing is nothing more than this. When I take this coil and I pump it, I'll set the thing and say, okay, let's ground balance it. Only thing we're really doing is this control box that has a microprocessor and basically a computer, okay? It's, it's sending the signal out, right? And then it's basically waiting, and what it's saying is this. Say we don't have this gold in here yet. It's letting all these little currents die down. That's all it's doing, okay? That's all it's doing. Ground balance it. Okay, we got it, it's quiet. What it's essentially saying is this. We'll turn this pulse on, and let's just assume that this ground stays on, on a scale of one to 10. Again, this is not technically correct, but it is correct from the standpoint of what we're talking about today. Um, so let's just assume that this ground is very mineralized, the whole deal, and it continues to stay on, or three and a half whatevers. The microprocessor knows that. We ground balanced it. Okay. Microprocessor says, hey Steve, listen, all this stuff down here, once you hit it with the pulse, I keep hearing things until 3.5, and at 3.6, I don't hear anything. It's quiet. Your ground balance. That's all it is. It's a simple thing. 
It's the, almost the same thing with the VLF, but that's essentially all we're doing. We're doing this, and the microprocessor's comparing that ground. It's listening to these, these different little uh, things that conduct, and it says, we're all done conducting.